It's a way to sharpen your saw. Read books, yeah, so keep that in mind. Sharpen your saw. Raise your hand. Oh gosh, really? Eat healthier, exercise more. Laugh I said more. raise your hand. <laughs> I didn't raise my hand. Okay. So. Gary? Um, get a grinder and get. <laughs> <laughs> get a sharpening stone. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sharpening stone, like that. Yeah. Anna? Is it like um, mind, heart, body? Okay. Soul. Ryan? What makes you happy? Okay. You mean like the reasons or the five? What's, what's the best way to make... Um, eat healthier, exercise more, eat more, live more, pray, um, meditate. Right, so if you were in my advisory class, we watched the uh, YouTube video and they are talking about New Year's resolutions. My New Year's resolution would be to wear the same thing every single day just to see if anybody would notice. Just kidding. Now, <laughs> if you want to sharpen your saw, the best thing to do is read books. So keep that in mind. Find a subject that interests you and start there because you really, if you get through college, you've got to be a really fast reader. Like, law school, like, you got to be super fast reader. Most people don't make it to that level of speed reading. So start with things that you like first. That's the best advice I can give you as far as continuing your education because you're going to forget most of what you've learned in here within a year. And the best way to you know, sharpen your saw is to pick up some books and read so you're ready to take another course down the road. Just like I took Spanish and I can't speak Spanish. What? So he's providing some of the answers. We're going over the homework right now. It's bell work, and I'm going to come around and check it. You know, I'm the one who showed people how to do it. If you go to, let's say, if you're not in a good mood, go to McDonald's drive through Jake, and ask for some dihydrogen monoxide, please. Yeah, can some uh, dihydrogen monoxide, please, in a cup with some solid dihydrogen monoxide? No, I'm not ready to go to McDonald's to do that. Okay. Now, I think last year I encouraged a student to do this and video them just to see what you know their reaction would be. It was very funny. But when you work in food service, you realize it's I know, but it was funny. It's kind of like a survey just to see how well people you know know their chemical nomenclature. Because most people have heard of carbon dioxide, but most people don't know dihydrogen monoxide. If you were to go to like, I don't know. Um, this woman at Taco Bell told me I was. I was saying quesadilla wrong, and that it was quesadilla. I said quesadilla? People don't yell at me for it. Yeah, I was like, no, it's quesadilla. She was like, I think it's quesadilla. Do you want I me to finish your order or not? And I'm like... Like tortilla. <laughs> I said tortilla. So that's how, that's how it reads. Yeah. Tortilla. So now, if you went to White Castle... It's if you went to White Castle, they would probably know it there, because they probably heard it before, you know. The places like White Castle have, you know, all sorts of people coming in there. You got the super wealthy and you got just the regular people. What wealthy people go to the cut and paste review for some of the students that are still kind of struggle, struggling with uh, naming and making compounds. This is something I got off the internet. It's really good. You can see the charges and boxes here. They're going to cut out like you see right here. Name it. And then complete the chart. Okay, so the first one, water, dihydrogen monoxide. Anybody know what CO2's name is? Simon? Carbon dioxide, very good. How about um, NF3? Anybody got NF3? NF3 is going to be nitrogen. That would be 3 tri fluoride. And then D is going to be O3. Anybody got O3? Chris? That's going to be tri oxide. Trioxide. 
these two, like this would be O3, and dioxide, O2, is because these are considered to be allotrophs. Allotrophs. Trough. One or two or more of an element with different structures and properties when they're in the same solid state or gas. So this is the goal of nanotechnology. In the future, the goal is to make things that appear different but of the same element. Job, you got uh, this one correct. This one should be H3PO4. This one should be H2CO3. This one should be H3PO3. Favorite polyatomic ion. What's your favorite polyatomic ion? <laughs> Some of that carbonate, like you know, freaking beverage. You can't do B. Me? This me? No, uh, one B. You've probably seen that one before. C is carbon. Good. Two, so B. Dioxide. Very good. And then C is you got nitrogen and there's three. And then try fluoride. Fluoride. F L U O R I D. O three. Yeah, that's right. Good job. I added that there just for you know difficulty. Did you add all of these carbonic acids? Uh, look over here. Oh, I don't know if I did this right. Oh, let's see if you got them right. You don't want oh, that on okay. there. It's just KBR. Right. And then you glue it down. You glue it down. This one's the first one. Potassium bromide. Because so the first one's really easy. And it goes Why underneath it? this Why one. Oh, that one. And then you do the next one is KNO3. So, so you've got that one there. Is this the homework for tonight? Pardon me? So I would this just do K. We'll finish it Friday. Because we're doing a lab tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, they both got Now, they wanted you to put like two of them. I know, but I ain't got okay. Yeah, it's okay if you didn't. Just draw a little box there and put the second one. Yes, yeah, perfect. A little ingenuity there. Formula. On what? Empirical formula, which is the simplest whole number formula uh, for a compound. So basically, you're going to be making a compound using elements. You'll be using magnesium and oxygen. So we've been talking about forming compounds, and then lab tomorrow, you're going to actually do that. You're going to form a compound. Now, this is the most dangerous lab that we ever do because, and I'm telling you that today, I'm going to tell you again tomorrow, because people tend to think that things that are white aren't hot. So they'll grab the crucible and they'll burn themselves. Or it'll drop on the floor and a piece will get into their shoe. Now, you're not supposed to wear open-toed shoes tomorrow. Obviously, I won't let you in. But if you have sandals on, it can pop into your sandal and cause a burn. It's happened before. So this lab is fairly dangerous because we are cremating a metal. That means you're going to see very high temperature. The first one is dihydrogen oxide. Jacob. These are one positive, two positive, three and so forth. And this is helpful to you, especially if you're trying to find the name quickly. Look at the charge and then go to the group. If you're just kind of looking all over the place, it's going to take you longer to find. It's like find Waldo. So if you know what the charge is, you can go specifically to the group. You can go faster. Make sense? 
So this will be uh, this will be given to you. I'm gonna give this to you on your credit because it says reference tables. I shouldn't make you memorize a reference table. That's kind of a little bit, you know, Extra. like childish. Unnecessary. Thing. Yeah, unnecessary. You want me to write it? That's fine. Now you heard the greenhouse gas, is it carbonic dioxide? Have you heard of a greenhouse gas? Yeah, greenhouse gas. I can't, I can't think of stop ringing the bell. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Yes. We have a color over here. Naomi, are you coloring yours? I'm trying to explain it to them right now. The first one's done on the board. Stop. Coloring in the same color. Some people would just like randomly color them. What you're doing? Nah, that confuses me. Yeah. That would <laughs> Kindergarten? Uh, no. I've been cussed up a long time. It's good. Yeah, you look good. <laughs> now this one is is incorrect. It should be dihydrogen. Oxide, dihydrogen oxide. No, it's two here, so it's yeah. dihydrogen yeah. oxide. Really monoxide. Oh, it's water, right? Yeah. Dihydrogen yeah. monoxide. Yeah, Will. I've got just cut that out right there and paste it right there. Just okay. this? No, the first one is done for you. You're just gonna paste it right here on your paper. So all these. Do one at a time. Cut these two out and paste it right there. These two? Yeah, that's KBR. <laughs> Hey, Jump. everybody who's watching this. Bama, Bama, Jason Bailey's a family. Thank you. 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 Thank CA and the BR are balanced. You have one CA and two BRs. That's what they're looking for. 